Hi! In this video, we're going to talk about the new event called Comic Book Heroes. This is, however, only the first part because you will see later that the next instances will unlock after 7 days. We will look at the rewards, the mechanics, and where and what to farm for the first 7 days. Let's look at the rewards. I personally don't like the rewards in this event because there are no SSR posters. All you get here are lone wolf boxes, um, costume for Madison, Hubris blueprint, crafting materials for uh, your attachment, purple and blue, and then purple upgrade material for your attachments, and then supply boxes or supply crates. However, there's this quest on your lower right part where you get to have some rewards as well. And this is where you will get the SSR uh, launch boxes here. The only problem here though is that you don't get to see all the, the challenges or the quests yet. So you don't know how many SSR boxes you get. Now let's talk about the mechanics. This is the main page of the comic book heroes event. There are five comic series. The middle one is the Unstoppables that has all the characters. Our event right now is for Mistress of Mystery and Silver Shroud here. The one on the right is for Manta Man and the one on the bottom here is for uh, Gronyak the Barbarian. An SSR that is not yet out in Seiya. So let us focus on Silver Shroud and Mistress of Mystery. Looking at Silver Shroud, and that's the same case as well for Mistress of Mystery, you will see three tabs. The Story, the Free, and the Challenge. Next instances will unlock either on a set date or if you finish a prior level. Like for this one, it's gonna unlock six days from now, six days, 20 hours. And this one will unlock once you finish code TS001. If you're wondering, it's here in the main comic here in the story. There are also some challenges for each character instances. For Silver Shroud, you have a time limit for you to finish an instance. Sounds easy, but you need to be careful because there are some instances where the teleporter will make you run in circles. And then this is a new one. So for Mistress of Mystery, you get darkness. When you have darkness, uh, for me, this is quite annoying because you can only see adjacent rooms to where you are standing. Um, I'm going to share with you a snapshot of the whole map so that you know where to go to ensure that you covered everything. So here's for the story and challenge tab. And here is for the free tab where you will farm. So where do you farm and what to farm? In my opinion right now, you farm on those second instances in the free tab like the one I'm showing here right now. But it doesn't give much because uh, this is just the second instance but this is the best that we can get right now we are going to just move to the next ones later on once the uh, new instances get unlocked on uh, the seventh day in my calculation you get 2400 tickets per day if you farm here so for the first seven days you only get 16,800 coins which is far from the 72,700 total gold coins if you want to buy everything take note though that this is only for the farmable coins and i did not include yet the first clear rewards and the rewards you get from the quests so overall i think this event doesn't give good rewards compared to the previous ones but looks easier compared to them though I will be back soon once the next uh, instances open up. That's it for me today. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!